Hi, welcome to this session on performing basic operation on database with SQL. In this session, we will learn how to decide about the structure of table, how to create a basic table in SQL, and we will learn how to perform four basic operations that is insert, update, delete, and retrieve on the database with the help of SQL. We will take case study of student database to perform these operations. We will switch between presentation and SQL interface to demonstrate these concepts. For creation of student table, first step will be to decide about the fields or attributes for which we wish to store the data. Normally, we are interested to store roll number, name, class, marks and date of birth information of student. So for this case study, we will consider these columns. However, you can add more columns depending upon your requirement. It is important to note that blank space is not allowed in column names. Next step will be to decide about data type of columns. In Oracle, we have number, character and date as basic data types. Thus, row number will be of number data type, name and class will be of character data type, marks will be of number and date of birth will be of date data type. Next step will be to decide about their size. Row number may be of maximum 8 digits, so let's keep its size as 8. Name may be of maximum 20 characters, so keep its size as 20. Class as 10. Marks as 3. And for date of birth, there is no need to specify its size, as Oracle automatically define it to accommodate day, month, year and time information. Now we are ready to create student table. To create table, you can use create table statement and its syntax is create table, table name and in braces you have to provide column name, its data type and size. Since we have decided about these components of student table, let us create student table by putting name of table, columns, their data type and size at their respective places and we are ready with its syntax. Now it is a time to create this table at SQL. So for this I will copy this statement and execute it at SQL interface. So this is create table statement. Go to SQL interface, log in on it, select SQL. SQL commands and here we have to execute SQL statement. Copy this create table statement. Press run to execute it. Congratulations, table has been created. To check the structure of this table, we can use describe table name statement. So by using describe student we can check its structure. By executing this statement, you can check student is the name of table. These are the column names, data type, their size and constraint information about the table. We will discuss constraints in more detail in next session. Let us insert some record in this table. For this, you can use insert statement and its syntax is insert into table name values value of column 1 value of column 2 and so on let us put these values for record 1 and insert statement will look like this let us execute this statement to insert a record in sql so for this I will copy this insert statement and execute it in SQL interface. Press the button run to execute it. One row has been inserted. Here one is the row number, RAM is the name, BE is the class, 100 is marks and this is his date of birth information. There are some important points we should kept in mind 
during usage of insert statement. Character and date values should be supplied in single quotes. Default format of date is DD, MON, YY. Sequence of values given in insert statement must match with corresponding columns. Means first value is stored in first column, second value is stored in second column and so on. Number of supplied value must be equal to the number of columns in the table. SQL statements are case insensitive, but character values which we have provided in single quotes are case sensitive. It means name and class will be stored in the same case in which we have entered these values. Let us insert some more records in this table. Row has been inserted. Let us insert a record for row number 3. It has been inserted. Same operation will be repeated for row number 4 and row number 5. So now we have inserted 5 records in this table. To retrieve or select these record you can use select statement and its syntax is select column name from table name where condition order by expression. Here where and order by are optional because it is written in square brackets and its basic syntax is select column name 1 comma column name 2 and so on from table name. Let us retrieve row number and name information of all the students. For this the statement will be select row number comma name from student. Let us execute this statement to check its result. Press the button run to execute it and here is the list of 5 row number and their name information. The asterisk sign is used to select all the columns in the table. This is very useful when we don't know the column names or when we are too lazy to type all the column name. It shows all the columns and rows of the table. You can clearly check that character values are stored in the same case and the records have been inserted in the same sequence. Sometime we wish to list limited number of records based on some condition then we can use where clause. To display the information of BE class we can use select star from student where class equal to BE. Let us execute this statement. It shows desired record. It is important to put name of class in uppercase because BE has been stored in this case for row number 1. But to show the record for row number 2, the statement will be class equal to BE in lower case and it shows this record. So you should be very careful about the case during query the character data. Sometime it is necessary to arrange records in ascending and descending order on some column. For this we can use order by clause with column names. We can use select star from student order by marks to display the information in ascending order of marks. Here is the output and records has been arranged in ascending order of marks. To arrange the records in descending order of marks, we can use the keyword DESC descending and it will arrange in descending order of marks. Sometime after insertion of data, there is a need to make modifications in data. For this, we have to use update statement and its syntax is update table name, set column name 1 equal to new value and so on. We can also use where clause to limit the operation to specific rows only. To change the marks of row number 1 to 150, we can use this statement. Let us execute this statement. It shows one record has been updated successfully. We can always use select statement to verify its result. 
Yes, marks of row number 1 has been updated to 150. Single update statement can also be used to update multiple columns. Here, this update statement is used to update date of birth and class information of student named Rahat. It is important to keep in mind the case of name. If we write the name in different case, no row will be updated as name has been stored in this way only. Now it is a time to delete some unwanted data from table. For this, we can use delete statement and its syntax is delete from table name where condition. Here from and where are optional. To remove the record of BE student, we can use delete from student where class equal to BE. Let us execute this statement to check its result. So here one row has been deleted and we can use select statement to verify its result. Yes, row number one of BE student has been removed. To delete all the records of this table, we can use delete student and it will remove all the records of this table. Now let us summarize all the concept we have learned in this session. In this session, we have performed all four basic operations that is insert, update, delete and retrieve on student database with the help of SQL. We are able to perform these operations in a very quickly and simplified manner. This shows the power of non-procedural nature of SQL. If we have to perform all these operations in procedural language like C, we have to write programs for each operation and it will take lot of time and procedure will be very complex. But in SQL, we are able to perform all these operations without writing a single line of code. This simplicity of SQL is the major reason for its popularity. Now it is time to practice these commands. All the commands used in this session is available as a script file for your ease. You are further advised to read more on select statement in reading section of week 1. Thanks for watching this video.